Hi Aquarius, so I'm here to do May the 8th to May the 15th. I can't believe how quick this year is going, it's crazy. So we are still in my front room because my back and my neck are still sore. You can see the swelling I think. Um, so yeah, hopefully get some answers soon. So I'm going to dive straight in. These will be extended readings, so this is part one of the reading. Um, part two of the reading you can find on the Vimeo link in the description box below. Or feel free to join us on the Patreon site um, where you can get access to all of the readings, all of the extenders. Uh, so you can check your Sun, Moon, your Rising and your Venus signs and you get access to them for every time I upload. Um, so it makes sense if you're an avid watcher. So I'm going to dive straight in. I am using the Psychic Tarot for this week. I will be clarifying and uh, in the extended I'll be digging a lot deeper as to what's been going on, who, what, where, when. You know I'll work. So I'll dive straight in. Oh, spiritual union, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with matters of the heart, but we'll see what's crossing this energy with the spiritual union, the triumphant success, your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So you may be trying to find out some kind of like truth, gain some kind of clarity on certain relationships situation ships that type of energy um it is a free maybe think back to march something could have happened in march but i do feel like there's some kind of truth and clarity coming or that's what you're looking for because why is it coming around now we've got the wisdom card so life lessons i, I kind of wanted to say cash it records then but as well it's a five so big changes with the wisdom card i feel like i wanted to say everything happens for a reason so trust in that energy. There could be a relationship that you've been struggling getting past. Yeah, because in the past we do have the mental conflict card. So everything could have been up in the air, you know, that type of thing. Um, kind of arguing with yourself. It's uh, it's not a nice energy, the mental conflict card. It's like the Eight of Swords. So anxiety, overthinking, even depression, that type of thing. So it does look like you've battled your own demons. But at present, you are on the road to triumph. So you are on the road to triumph. And it's also it's almost like if you've come away from those types of relationships, you can see the red flags now in future like perspective relationships. If it's not a love relationship, it could be like friendships, it could be work related. Um the people that are around you so if you're seeing red flags kind of listen to them you know they're there for a reason maybe you ignored them in the past because near future we've got victory and success here we've got that red flag again but if you're seeing red flags you, you know it you kind of trust in your intuition now but the victory and success card don't be scared of blowing your own trumpet don't be scared of putting boundaries in place with people um you know, how we treat ourselves sets the bar for how other people treat us. And that's been a hard lesson for me to learn because I'm an over-giver. So I give, 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 give in all situations. And I'm kind of getting that energy. Maybe you felt like you were over-giving um, in the past or in any situation. You know, take it as it resonates. But six is about peace, harmony, love and balance. Your numbers are going up. Five, six, seven at the moment. So, your power in the situation is Choose Wisely. It's a Choose Wisely card, so it is the Seven of Cups. I do feel like there's options opening up in regards to the people that are around you. Um, especially in Love Life. If it's not in Love Life, again, take it as it resonates. But I do feel like your power is to make the, the correct op uh, decisions, choices for your own life. The outside influence to that is deception. So it's the Seven of Swords, stealing, lying, cheating, betrayal. You may have already just been through that, especially with the mental conflict there. So if someone from your past is trying to return and that's the type of energy they brought with them, I feel like the blindfold is straight off. I feel like the energy of this reading is kind of going in that way so if this does not resonate with you check your, your moon your rising and your venus um but i do feel like eyes wide open you're seeing through fresh eyes um in all aspects of life you know relationships people your circle your friendships people around you at work 
Um, I feel like you're really trusting that intuition now in, in regards to other people, seeing when they feed a trigger of yours. Um, I do feel like there's been some kind of, like, all up in the head. Someone's put you all up in your head in the past. So you don't want to be hurt again in your fierce position. We've got heartache and loss. You don't want to be hurt again. And you, if you're still nursing those wounds, you, you don't want to feel like that anymore. It's like, I want to get out of this now. You know, you, you want to get out. You want to heal. So I like that energy. And, you know, what's crossing that energy is that sort of truth. You are the Libra. Uh, I wouldn't say Libra then, unless you're dealing with Libra. You are the Aquarius. Your power is to use that sort of truth to cut cords when they need to be cut cords. You know, to gain the truth when you need truth and clarity. Your outcome is the throat chakra. So there is going to be some conversations had. So I'm going to get some clarification on this. But again, speaking your truth. Um, speak If someone pushes a boundary, pulling them on it as soon as they start to do it. So I'm going to get a bit of clarification on this. And then I'm going to dive into the extended where I'm going to look a lot deeper. Um, so there's been lies in the past or some kind of... Because on top of the spiritual union, now we've got Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like you've struggled cutting the cord to this situation. But the challenge now is to go from the Ace of Swords in reverse to the Ace of Swords upright. So the challenge is for you to get to that energy where you can speak your truth and you can learn to say no. And, you know, because we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. You could have Earth in your chart. But I feel like that's about you taking care of you. The King of Pentacles investing himself. is very careful who he invests his time, money and effort into. You know, it's the Pentacles. It's that safe element the pentacles are about groundedness and safety and security and it's all been one massive life lesson because you've learned lessons from this yeah because on top of the five wisdom we've got the five of cups so there's still pain there's still you know you may have felt like you were over it so something could have triggered you but we've got the five of cups so you're kind of looking back but are you looking back as re with regrets because if you just turn around you've got the two of cups right behind you the mental conflict. Now the pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like you've kind of struggled to grab that independence again. Or you may still be doing that. So if you've just found that you're single now and you're struggling trying to find your own independence. And where do you like kind of stand in this world? That type of energy. I feel like in the past you kind of lost yourself. You might have lost yourself within a relationship or... You know, any other aspects of um, your life, you've kind of got into like some kind of mental conflict. But at present, we have the magician, San Varies to myself, Taurus to a lot of other readers, and we're in Taurus. But the magician is making the good of us, best of a situation. The magician is, it turns like metal into gold, you know. And within that, you're being triumphant because you kind of been the alchemist of your own life. You are going to be victorious and successful. There is inner work to be done. We've got the hermit there, could be dealing with Virgo. But I feel like the way that you're manifesting life and you're being the alchemist of your life is the fact that you're turning inwards. You know, you're doing the shadow work. And within that, it's like you, you come out of that, that as in like the magician energy, you know, I'm ready to take on the world. That's where the success comes in. The Knight of Swords, it's about taking the action, but try not to be impulsive. That horse looks stressed out of its head, you know. If you've got stress, try and do what you can to kind of relieve some of your stress. Stress, I need to take me on advice. <laughs> but then you've got the Six of Wands, we've got victory and success. Good news is on its way. I do see a massive healing energy um, in this reading. So I want to just look at the throat chakra of communication. The moon. Disruption. See, see, some of my Aquarius could be told something about an ex-partner or told something about someone in their friendship group or a past friend, you know, and it's kind of triggering triggering you. But we have got the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is about security and safety. You know, we've got spirit watching over. But it's having enough. It's having more than enough. And I feel like you've already got more than enough around you. I feel like you've had to kind of claw your way back out of a dark pit that's kind of the energy i'm getting 
yeah the high priestess so you ha you are highly intuitive at the moment and you definitely can see through the bullshit you know you're using your intuition you can see through that bullshit so in the extended i'm going to take um a lot deeper look as to what's gone on why it's gone on and what is coming up and what these conversations are coming up um so if this is where i leave you i'll leave with lots of love and if i'm meeting you on the extended i'm going to be over there now bye